This project found that almost 1,000 of the total students failed their hearing screenings. Since then, we at the Barbados Speech and Hearing Center have done our best to test as many students who walk in our doors on a day-to-day -day basis, but we know it's not enough. We were then thrilled to be asked by the Rotary Club West to be part of a hearing screening project at Good Shepherd Primary School. One student, a young boy, was found to have a hearing loss in both ears. Hearing loss can be an invisible disability that often reveals itself when the child exhibits learning and or behavioral problems if left untreated. The student was subsequently fitted with hearing aids in both ears and this was facilitated by the Rotary Club West and I can report he is doing very well. Thank you again. <laughs> The Barbados Speech and Hearing Center was then asked by the Rotary Club West once again to continue the great work we started at Good Shepherd Primary, but this time on a larger scale. We set out to organize a project to screen all infant B students at government schools across Barbados. The Barbados Speech and Hearing Center was asked to train an initial volunteer cohort of students from the Barbados Community College and who are enrolled in the Rehabilitation Therapy Technology Program, who are led by their program director, Ms. Gabrielle Clark, who I don't see here this morning, but who has been absolutely instrumental and wonderful in this whole process. So thank you, Gabrielle, wherever you are. As well as volunteers from the Rotaract clubs across Barbados to conduct hearing screenings in these schools. Mr. Benjamin Stabler, my father, who trained the volunteers for the project 20 years ago, took on the task of training these new volunteers and will be supervising their progress as we head into the schools. Any follow-up that is necessary for students will be conducted through the Office of Barbados Speech and Hearing Center with the clinical audiologist, Dr. Mariella Stabler. This includes, but is not limited to, wax removal, diagnostic audiometry, and possible fitting of hearing aids where needed. These partnerships are vital to audiological services across the island because as individual entities, we do not have the resources to conduct projects of this scope, which are essential to conduct regularly. With consistent operations such as this, it is easier to screen and catch hearing loss in children earlier, thereby preventing the disability and struggle that many prior generations have experienced. If this young boy had been screened at Infants B, we would, he would have been fit with hearing aids at a much earlier age, which would have allowed him full access to all the sounds of the world without having to struggle to hear them.